Hello and welcome to another episode of Creator Club with Reese FC. We are in the playoff hunt. Two games left. We're seventh in the league. Seventh place is enough to give you a playoff place. I don't know how it works though, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six teams in the playoffs. No idea how that's going to work. But anyway, what we can have like a triple threat match at uh, Wembley: Dartford versus Weymouth versus Reese FC. Winner gets to the Vanarama National League. But anyway, we are the most important thing. We're in the playoff hunt still. We're currently it's currently in our hands. We're in seventh position with sixty six points. Dulwich Hamlet are eighth, just as inconsistent as us recently. They are on sixty five points. So it's out of us two really and Hemel Hempstead as well really. Uh, it's out of us three to get the final two spots. Let's have a look at our current form. Um we lost the last two games to the champions Wilson. Played quite well in that game. It was quite tight. Uh, they're the champions we didn't expect much from that uh, Billericke we also lost that away game as well that was a disappointing one because uh, you think if we'd have picked up three points there we pretty much home and dry uh, but we had a couple of good wins against Dawkins Hungerford Town a draw away at Mainstone United and a draw at home to having a Waterlooville so that's what's happened since he was last with us we do have a few injuries though to key players very annoying indeed, especially at this stage of the season. Sam Osborne is on his way back. In fact, he may be fit for the next game, possibly. Uh, but the big one is uh, Byron Lawrence. Look at him down here. I was trying to find him on the screen there. He is out between 12 days and four weeks of a twisted ankle. That's bad news. That's really bad news. Uh, Brendan Ockran is also injured. Ethan Patterson injured and Sam Osborne as we said, he's on his way back. Looks like Patterson's on his way back as well. Hopefully, if we make the uh, playoffs, Oakland will be back as well. So we are injury hit. A really fragile stage of the season. Um, but we've got two home games. We've got home advantage in both. Let's hope we can make that count. One win could do it for us. The one win. If we win this first game, uh, this will be the only, uh, only match of the episode. There's no point showing you the next one. And we'll go straight to the playoffs in the next episode. Uh, but Patterson is out injured here. I did have the team sorted, and then he got himself injured somehow. So it's a straight swap with Chiron Clements coming in. Patterson and Sheehan are going to swap over here. So Billy Johnson in goal. Tuttle, Matsuzaka, Matsuzaka Clements, Said, Roche Smith is taking the place of, um, what's his name, our little friend, Lawrence. Uh, Tomlinson, Stray, Cole, and ever-present up front, Aki Niemi. Big game. Three points. It's all in our hands. Three. If we can win both games, we're there. But if we can do it in this, do it today, amazing. Um, we could potentially secure a playoff win place if we win. I'm going to put the pressure on them there. But what a season it's been. But it'll be really disappointing to miss out now, especially with two home games left. Surely we have to target winning these games. Dulwich Hamlet, where are they playing? They're at home to Weymouth. That's a tricky game. We got Weymouth on the last game of the season. Hopefully, Weymouth will beat Dulwich, will beat Hampton, and then there's no pressure on the Weymouth game. Aki and Yemi, for us here, back to Said. Plays it back to Clements here, who is in for the injured Patterson. It's a good ball forward, but Hampton are looking to counter-attack here with Benham. We've been a bit susceptible in the last couple of games with counter-attacks, and it looks like we're in trouble again. It's a good ball. It's a good, oh, I thought you say that. And we are 1-0 down. This is not ideal at all. Hampton are off to a flyer, as the text commentary says. And they are quite right as well. And I don't want to watch that again. Don't know about you. That hurt me a little bit, that did. Uh, Dulwich are drawing. So still, if it, if it stayed like this, it would still be kind of in our hands. We would have to win against Weymouth. Which is a tough game. Uh, Sage just picked himself up a yellow card. The boys are fired up. They want to get themselves back into this game because they know how important it is. Twenty five minutes on and we've still not seen a highlight of us attacking. Very frustrating indeed. But here we go. Tomlinson whips in the ball. Is a header at the back post? Is it oh has he missed that? How on earth has Cole missed? I think it was Cole. How on earth has he missed that header? What an opportunity that was to draw us level. Oh, that's annoying. 
and demand more from the boys. Mm. Oh, I can't believe he's missed that. Really can't. Didn't even go down to clear cut. Chance they have another opportunity, but it narrowly goes over the bar. Dulwich are still drawing with Weymouth, which is good news that they're not winning at the moment. But this is the game of the two. But we should be picking up points. We don't want to go 2 0 down. Benham. Smith now. Come on, boys. Poor ball. Some clearance more than anything, I think. Tomlin's in. Breaking away. This is the man we need to rely on. He's breaking away into the box. Can he equalise for us? He can't. Oh, I thought he slotted it past the keeper into the far corner, but he didn't. Oh, it's not going to go our way, is it? It's going to be one of those days, I think. Two minutes added on. We can't get another chance in right before half-time. We're struggling at the minute. Oh, this isn't good. Um... Let's have a look before I do that. Let's have a look at the team. Can we make any changes? We are missing Lawrence massively in that midfield. Uh, I said I said in the previous episode, he, he Tomlinson's kind of taken over from his role, but when he's not, when Lawrence is not there, you realise it. You do notice it. Uh, Reece Stray's going to come off and I'm going to bring on Shea Dozy. And that's the only change I'm going to make here at half-time and really hope we can get ourselves back into this early. I've sent them out with a bit of passion behind them. Hopefully, we can get ourselves back into this game. We need to. Dulwich is still drawing 0-0 with Weymouth. So intrigued to know what happens with uh, these playoffs. I keep looking at it and counting. At, what am I, and Weymouth have just gone up in the league, so they are 1-0 up. At Dulwich, very good news for us, because that leaves us a point ahead of Dulwich. But... It's not great, is it? Because it makes no difference in a way because we still have to win on the final day to guarantee it. Um, what are we going to do here? Cole's been really poor today. He's not had a bad game in a long time. So Harvey's going to come in there. Harry Smith is very frustrated. Roast is fired up at least. So we are also going to bring on Christian Law who hasn't played a game for God knows how long. Because we've been trying to get rid of him. But show me that I've been wrong to try and get rid of you, Christian Law. We need to turn this around. Come on, boys. Well, in fact, we're going to go attack him. And I'm going to ask him to push forward. Very below par form performance. Your dozy, I just realised. Why are we in our awake here today? We're at home. Really weird. Anyway, it's taken me 75 minutes to notice that. Christian Law to roast. We need to go forward, boys. What are you doing? Matsuzaka out wide here to Tuttle. Pings a ball across to Harvey, who needs to show me what he can do to stay on the team. Christian Law. Tuttle, Tomlinson. Battling hard, but he loses out. It's not been his day either. And here they come again, and Tuttle has lost out. He had that under control there, and he's lost out. They've got a chance here to double the lead, and it's a fantastic strike, and it just come off the top of the bar, I think. And it's still 1-0 to Hampton and Richmond. Not good. Should we just go very attacking? We've got no choice, really. We, we have to. The point's no good for us if we do equalise, um, as we... And it's a big opportunity miss because if we'd have won this game, if Dulwich are still losing, we'd be in the playoffs. Said. Christian Law. Roast. Said. Terrible challenge. He's going to be sent off for that, surely. That's his second yellow card. Opportunity. Come on, boys. We need to make the most of this opportunity. Was he sent off? Yeah, he was sent off. Eight minutes left. Harvey. Where's the backup, boys? Where's the backup? Raise it back deep to Christian Law. Tomlinson on the ball now. He needs to work his magic. It's a good ball. Oh, I can yeah me. Oh, it was a block. What a chance that was for Akin Yemi. 
We've had two clear-cut chances in this game. We haven't taken one of them. And the ball is cleared away. Mm. Dominated the game, haven't we? Just haven't put the ball in that. Too many below-par performances here. Tuttle, what's he doing? There's Johnson. That was dangerously close to going over the line, wasn't it? Matt Zarka. Back to Clements. Oh, we're running out of time. Dulwich are back level by the looks of it. Yes, they are. The last gas penalty. We don't need them getting a winner because then it's majorly out of our hands on the final day of the season. We got a free kick at the edge of the box. This could be huge. Akinyemi steps up. He strikes it into the top corner. 15th goal of the season for Depot Akinyemi. <laughs> the last video said fourth, but it's definitely his 15th. He hasn't scored 11 since then. And here we go. Great strike. It doesn't do too much for us, but it stops the rot of losing the last couple of games. We are too... Did Dulwich lose? I think they lost. All of a sudden, I'm going to tell them they've done brilliantly to come back because we want them to be happy with us. We want them in a good frame of mind for that last game against Weymouth. Did... Dulwich Hamlet lose. It helps if I press continue, doesn't it? I'm too excited. Dulwich Hamlet, Dulwich Hamlet lost 2-1 in the 95th minute to Weymouth. Right, the problem with that is I kind of... Oh, you kind of wish that Dulwich had drew that with Weymouth because now Weymouth's tails will be up. They can still finish second in the league. On the other hand, if Dulwich win their next game and we draw, we've got a far superior goal difference. We may only need a point against Weymouth. And that could be vital. Are we going to have players back for that game? When is that? Seven days. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Where is the medical centre? Uh, Osborne could be back. Patterson should be back. Ockram could be back. Norris looks like he'll miss the playoffs as well if we make it. So here we are. We are at the Weymouth at home game now. Final game of the season. Hopefully it's not the final game of the season, but it's the final league game. Um, if we get a point here, we should qualify for the playoffs. Um, we have a couple of changes here. Is it one or two changes? It's the one change. Patterson comes back into our defence he replaces Kyron Clements. Patterson is fit for the game. Uh, and also on the bench, Osborne is back as well. So he, he's been recommended to play maximum 45 minutes. So he makes the bench. Hopefully he can come on as an impact sub and grab us some free, vital free points to get us to these playoffs. Um, here we go. This is the biggest game of the season, this one. Strap yourself in, folks. We must go out and make sure we go out and secure a playoff spot. Let's do it. Let's not mention the playoffs. Just tell them this is huge for you and the supporters. The boys are all motivated. They are raring to go here for the biggest game in the club's history. And off we go. Let's keep, got to keep an eye on Dulwich as well, aren't we? There at home's Concord Rangers. You expect them to pick up points there. Here's Tuttle. Smith. Good ball in. Cole's there. Got, oh, what an opportunity. Ward has saved it. Cole was offside anyway. It would have still been nice to see the, retina, uh, the net rustling rather than the rep rustling. Whew. Good news. Concord Rangers are ahead of Dulwich Hamlet in the first minute takes a little bit of pressure off us, but it'd be nice to pick up three points and they lose, and then we finish six points ahead of them. That'd be nice, or five points, whatever the maths is. I can't focus on that right now when we're attacking. Here's Harry Smith out to Tuttle. We do miss Lawrence in that midfield. We really do. Smith finds Billy Roast. Tomlinson back to Smith. Roast. Matsuzaka. Smith. Needs to go forward, boys. Come on. I noticed the way I want you to play with the ticky tacker. 
but I'm impatient in this game. Tomlinson has a strike and the keeper gathers it. He does well to get his body behind that and keep it close to his chest and not spill it into Akinyemi. 20 minutes gone, it's 0-0. Dulwich Hamlet are still losing 1-0, which leaves us 7th. And as it stands in the playoffs, lucky you guys, you get additional episodes because of the playoffs. Half hour gone here, let's tell the boys to get creative because it will be nice just to relieve the pressure a little bit. And I think Dulwich have equalised. Oh, I'm just going to have a look. I'm going to have a look. Have they equalised? Yes, they have. Have we scored, though? No, we haven't. And it was an absolute sitter, apparently. But I couldn't wait to see if Dulwich had scored or not. So, if it stays like this and Dulwich win, on goal difference-wise, they have to score seven goals to go above us. Well, six, technically, because they've scored more than us. So, hopefully, this will be enough for us against this difficult Weymouth side. But we've played really well so far and as I say that we've given the ball away here's Anthony breaking for Weymouth he's in the box here we're susceptible to the counter attack again but Billy Johnson gathers the ball nicely it would have been a lovely breakaway goal but thankfully it wasn't and we have reached a half time whistle it's 0-0 currently it's still in our hands passionately going to say to the boys that. I'm pleased with how things are going. I think that's the right team talk. And they look extremely delighted with that. I don't want to put the pressure on them again by saying we can secure a playoff place. Quite a big crowd here today, 931, to see us try and get promotion. Anthony, always oh, whipped the ball in, it's cleared. What's going on, Camp? And Tomlinson stolen it. Here we go. Can we go 1 0 up and secure our place? It's Tomlinson. Oh, he's put it straight at the keeper. What a chance that is. The keeper's positioning was shocking as well. Oh, this is nerve wracking. We need a goal. Settle the nerves. Roast, Sade. Oh, it's a poor pass as well. Robinson, the players are starting to feel the nerves, aren't they? Robertson's ball to McCoy. He's through on goal as well. And it's a terrible finish. Thankfully, it's a terrible finish. If we were to finish seventh today, who would we even face in the playoffs? I don't know how it works. Maybe second place? Um, McCoy's in again. He's got past Patterson with ease. McCoy, it's 1 0 to Weymouth. 54 minutes on the clock. This is not in the script, ladies and gentlemen. They are ruining our day. And as it stands, we are eighth. A Dulwich winning. They're drawing. Something doesn't add up there. Something's wrong there. They, they must. Oh, they, yeah, they are two one up. Just seen as a goal scorer here. But it's still showing 1 1. They must have just scored as we've conceded. Oh, this is horrible. This is awful. I'm going to bring on Osborne for Cole. Um, we need to do something here. And cheer Doze is coming in for Stray. Panic substitutions, but we need to make something happen. We have to, we have to equalise. We really missed our opportunity in the last game. Osborne and Chiodose on for Stray and Cole. We're back into seventh. Concord Rangers have equalised. We need kind of like a picture-in-picture -picture mode here so we can watch the Dulwich game. Football manager, if you're listening, make that happen. Make that happen. That'd be amazing for the big game. Split screen or something. Oh, and here's another opportunity. And it's 2-0 to Weymouth. It's all in Dulwich's hands now. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> At least it's not a battle to stay up. We're actually fighting to get in the playoffs. We should be in a battle to stay up, according to uh, according to our board, anyway. Um, but was it offside? No, it's just on side. We've got to go all out here. Still watching, I'm just watching the Dulwich score now. It's 2 2 there. 
in fact, there's no point watching that. Just watch the league table because the scores were quite behind, weren't they? It's the 72nd minute. As it stands, we are still in the playoffs. Sorry about the silence. I'm secretly praying to myself that we make it. Conquer Rangers. Are they down to 10? No, they're not. And they missed a the penalty. They missed the penalty as well. Come on, lads. Don't think there's anyone on the bench that will make a difference. I'm just going to keep it with this team. Rose having a nightmare, but... I've got a lot of faith in Christian Law. Still 2 all at Dulwich. Got the, to be able to watch a Dulwich game would be... I don't know if I'd be more nervous, actually, but... It would be such a good feature from uh, Football Manager just to do that. Because now we're 2-0 down. I haven't really got interest in this now. I don't mean, we're not going to get back into it. We are still 7th. Two minutes to go. <laughs> oh, my word. Can you imagine if we miss out on the playoffs with two minutes to go? We're about to give away a penalty. We're not. Patterson clears. What's going on at Dulwich Hamlet? Show us. Show us. Oh, it's 2-2. Two, two. I can hear the fans singing, K-Zara, Zara, whatever will be, will be, we're going to Wembley. The 900 fans are chanting it around the Risi Arena. It's full time here, but what has happened at Dulwich? Yes, we were disappointed. Yes, disappointed. What's happened? What's happened at Dulwich? I think we're all right. It says seventh in the top left. But was that from before the game? What's happened? Another new Juventus to have clinched the title in uh, Serie A. But we are in the playoffs. What a relief. What a season that is. And quite frankly, this run of form here has made our season. Look at that. One defeat in however many games. I'm not can't bother to count it. We need, We did our best to throw it away. Look at that, three defeats in our last four games. But we've got to treat the playoffs as a new season as such. Um, forget about the last four games. We shouldn't be in the playoffs, really, but we are. Um, do we find out who we... When, well, when do we find out who we've got? That's the most important thing. And it didn't take us long to find out who we've got because we have drawn Hemel Hempstead Town in the playoffs. And we will be away first. Playoff first round. Let's have a look at this schedule. Yes, we are away. Uh, for, is it So is it just one leg? Extra time played if scores a level or 90 minutes penalty shoots. Yes, yeah, so it's one leg. Iron Lawrence is doubtful for the game. So, well... We've got 11 days to prepare for this. That is a... Where, where did they finish? I'm guessing second. Or is it literally... Is it literally a draw? Can I not see the league now? We've just got to guess. They finished fourth. It would be nice to actually see the table, wouldn't it? Not the playoffs. Uh, bear with me. Overview, season... No, it's a preview. Anyway, irrelevant. They finished fourth. We finished seventh. Overall, it's been a tremendous season. And the fact we're in the playoffs is unreal. Um, but I guess you'll join me next time for the game against Hemel Hempstead. Is it Hemel Hempstead? It is Hemel Hempstead. Uh, we're away to them in the playoff. Uh, sem it's not even a semi-final. It's a first round. I really don't know what happens uh, in the non-league playoffs. But anyway, we're in the playoffs. We're in with a chance of promotion and join us next time for that playoff game. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel for your daily Football Manager content. And I'll see you next time for the playoffs first round.